Hello, I'm Axuba George and I'm here with my lovely wife, Gloria George. And we are so excited to be bringing God's word to you today. today. Hey, we, I know we've been a blessing because what we're doing is deliberate. Yeah. We're not just doing it for doing sake. Mm -hmm. The Lord commanded us to do this. Yeah. And we are doing it willingly. Yes. Because we know there is, there is something in our lives and in our journey that will be a blessing, blessing to, to you. you. And the purpose of these things that we're sharing with you is this, is for you to take in and go back to the Lord. That's what information does to yes, you. Yes. You take in, you go back to the Lord and you begin to straighten things out. Yeah. And say, Lord, I want this kind of a testament. I want this kind of result. And the Lord will take you from where you, you are and bring you into the place, praise God. Hallelujah. Before we go into today's broadcast, can we call for that? Our daily bread. bread. Praise God. Hallelujah. Join us right now in faith as we make this demand. Say, Father. Father. I demand right now. I demand right now. For my daily bread. For my daily bread. It is coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you know sometimes god takes us from a journey mm -hmm. uh, i remember when before we got married i had told you something okay. i just remember you know, why you were coming for that day. okay i told you i said listen now i don't have all the money in the world mm -hmm. i remember yeah i remember now i don't have all the money in the world <laughs> now now you will say but she was your daughter she knows hey marriage is deliberate you mm -hmm. don't take anything for granted yeah yeah, I couldn't have said just you, you, you already know me, you're following mm -hmm. me. You know, we had to have all these discussions. Yes. So I said, I don't have all the money in the world, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. and I wasn't speaking um, faith or no faith. <laughs> this is, we're speaking clearly to one. Truth. Yeah. But I said, you know, God has been taking care of me. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have salary. I don't have. I don't have something that you say this is what i can even hold on to on apart to. from the word apart from the word but i said <laughs> i told you this i said but you know god has been taking care of me yeah and if we become a couple yeah it's very simple god will take, take care, care of us now, i wasn't i wasn't telling her this to follow me blindly mm -mm. that's why i said you know mm. god has been taking because you've mm. seen yeah you've witnessed yeah. so you, you don't just take it you don't just take the words of a man mm. and he tells you look i live by faith mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sorry sir what have your faith produced, produced? very important what has your faith produced? Yeah. You can't tell a lady, I live by faith. And you're struggling. Mm. You know what I mean by struggling? Mm. Now, you are struggling. Mm. To feed yourself is, is a problem. Mm. To get to where you need to go is a problem. So, you must... Now, I could tell her that because I have seen the result of my faith and my trust in God. Mm. I have seen it. It mm. has sustained me. Yes. And it has sustained me well. Yeah. So there are certain simple um, things you must, you must, because sometimes I say, I, I, I married a pastor. I mm. thought, I thought he was a, a, a big pastor. Mm -hmm. but all of a sudden, it's not about the title. Oh, it's not even about the job description. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because there are people who have gotten married thinking this guy has a good job. Mm -hmm. And then he lost he the lost job it. two yeah. months after the yeah. wedding. Yeah. And then they realize no savings, mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. is gone. And then mm -hmm. their suffering starts. Yeah. So it's not about the position, physical position of the man. Yes. Especially the men now. Mm -hmm. But the spiritual position of the man yeah look at this person clearly and say look take away this job that you have who are you exactly take away this title that you carry who are you oh my, my the person i want to get married to is a pastor take away the pastor title from him mm -hmm. who is he and also more like who is your source that's the thing you yes know, who, you know when you say who are you yeah you want to know, what are you made of? Yes. What is your what, what what's your fallback plan? Mm -hmm. Wh who are you? Beyond the title, beyond the job, you know, say, who are you? I'm, I'm an engineer. <laughs> no. Who are you? I'm, I'm a doctor. No. 
who, who, who is this doctor? Who is this engineer? Exactly. Who, I am a who is this pastor? Now, a word of caution, especially for the men. I think I should read this scripture. Okay. Before we started, the Lord dropped it in my heart. Okay. And I want to. It's for couples. It's for couples, attending couples, but especially, I, 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 I want to speak to the men right now. Okay. Luke chapter twelve, and verse forty-two. And the Lord said, "This is Jesus speaking now. Mm. Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his master will make ruler over his household, mm. to give them their portion of food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when, when he comes. comes. Truly." I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. Mm. Now watch this. But if that servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming and begin to beat the male and female servant and to eat and drink and be drunk, the master of that servant will come in the day which he is not looking for him mm -hmm. and at an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in two mm. take note of that yeah. and will cut him in two mm. and appoint him his portion with beyond believers mm. the lord showed me the scripture before we got mm, okay and yes so uh, uh, it's part of my walking you know when, when the word of god comes to you it becomes part of your reasoning yes and then the lord said this to me he said look when i put you in charge of someone mm. now that, that someone can be your wife because in your family now you are the main you are the steward over the household yeah and he says you are supposed to give everyone their portion in due season mm -hmm and you ought to be faithful mm. in that yeah you ought to be faithful in your family you mm. ought to be faithful towards your wife mm. now faithful in the sense of now sometimes people think faithfulness is all about uh, i've not cheated on you i'm not going to follow another woman faithfulness is is beyond that that's just one mm. but if you're really faithful everything will be taken care of faithfulness is seen to it that whatever need you have yeah i'll be able to match yeah. it yeah emotional needs financial mm. needs mm. whatever need comes up that will come up mm. i'll be able to match it mm. now either i match it by what it takes basically sometimes. or i'll match it by wisdom the word. because sometimes it's not money people need mm -mm. sometimes people need wisdom yeah so sometimes no you know like i I don't understand. My wife is struggling every time. Money, 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 money. Now the question is: Did you are you a faithful steward? steward? And then the part that got my attention was when God says, when, when Jesus, Jesus. says, if if he begins to think that the master is delaying his it's coming, coming, I'll tell you exactly how the Lord explained this to me. Okay. Now you're in a relationship. Mm. You want to get married to this person. Mm -hmm. You're sincere in your heart. Mm. And you're waiting for things to work out well so that mm. you guys will get married. Mm. But somehow, you know, you've not been able to put yourself together. Mm. And then you now tell yourself that. Now you've told yourself that, look, let's have a, a chaste relationship. Mm. You know? No sex, no all this stuff. And then you're now like, it, it, I mean, when you met this person, you're telling yourself, Max, six months, we get married. And then six months come, nothing is happening. Mm. One year, mm. and then it's dragging. And then I start thinking in your heart that and then this thing is not uh, yeah. so, so let's start doing what we're not supposed to do. He says that if you believe that God has made you in charge of that relationship, mm. I'm telling you how the Lord explained this scripture to me when mm. relationship is concerned. Mm. If you think that God is not your the master is delaying. Mm. Meanwhile, he has put you in charge Church. of that relationship. Okay. And then you now start doing what you're not supposed to say. The, the master, because the Lord told me, say, look, even in marriage, 
he will come and do inspection. Of course. He will come and do inspection. Yeah. Before you get married, you believe this relationship is of God, he will come for inspection. Mm. And he doesn't announce when he comes. At all. He will come. And when he comes and realize you are not being a faithful, faithful steward. steward. Oh boy. Now, this, this, I mean, wait, when I saw this, I was like, oh, <laughs> watch this. It says, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. It says, the master will, that's verse 46. Mm. The master of that servant will come in a day when he is not looking for him mm -hmm. and at an hour when he is not aware mm. and will cut him in two. Mm. You know what I saw that? They will cut this relationship. Yeah, so separate it. Separate it. And guess what? At least they are knowing that. And this is the part that should make you think. Watch this now. And appoint him that's still what mm. he will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers oh mm. god i don't want the portion of the unbelievers mm. Mm -mm. now 10 years we've enjoyed god's portion yes now that's because we made up our minds to be faithful stewards of this institution called Man. marriage now it's not something that just happens mm -mm. you make up your mind for it yeah i made up my mind i'm going to be a faithful husband to my wife now faithful husband it's like i said earlier it's being available now it's funny but i want you to listen in my heart i tell myself this i said i'll be so faithful to my wife mm. that she will have no reason to ask god for anything mm. now we we pray we ask god for yeah. things as yeah. a couple yeah. but my wife would not sit down and say let me pray let me god give me mm. this thing mm. now i don't know how you want to take that but i'm just <laughs> telling you how now, i'm telling you how i reason you understand what i'm saying don't guys say eh, what do you mean by <laughs> try to understand what i'm saying that i'll be so big in the sight of my wife now when i say so big i'll i'll carry that heart of god mm. before you mm. that you just know that if i say it is done yeah it is done, it is done yeah in wisdom in character in everything that because because every woman needs a marriage where she can relax yes relax not being lazy mm -mm. relax in the sense that because naturally women 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 mostly women multitask more than men yeah. that's the truth yeah right? and when it comes to family the bulk of the job physically is on the woman, is on the woman. yeah but then mentally is on the man <laughs> well, that's true <laughs> oh my goodness yes because <laughs> yeah, you know those are these things discussions we have mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like you know um you say but see see, see, see look <laughs> As, so mentally the man carries the body mm. what, what do you mean mentally he carries the body He's thinking of the future. Mm. He's thinking of the vision mm. for the marriage, mm. for this family. Mm. He's, he's thinking far. Yeah. And then everything, even finances, everything that enters his hand, his his thoughts are, where should we apply this, this and this and that? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I said mentally he carries the body. Mm. But physically, a woman carries the body. Now, because of that the woman needs to carry that body in, in rest and in rest the last thing we want to do is to add an emotional body to your wife on your wife mm. that's wickedness mm -mm. you want your wife to be blessing the lord when, when she thinks of you bl just blessing yeah you. yeah that's the kind of life you want to live you don't want a wife that is at home wondering 
Where is my it's husband? My husband doing. What is he doing? Mm. He's supposed to be back. Mm. Where is he? Mm. No, it's not or maybe sense. he's just too busy with work. Sometimes it may not even be that you're cheating. You're trying to talk to your wife yes. about something. You so talk to your husband about something. You talk to your husband about yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And then like, sorry, sorry. I, I have... I I have, have a, it's frustrating. More like you're concerned about every other thing apart from her. It's frustrating. Or the family. There must be a balance. Praise there must be a balance. Hallelujah. Now, that part where he says he will give him his portion will be unbelievable. Mm. It means God has a portion for you. But if you don't show faithfulness mm. as a steward, mm. he will turn you over and say, you don't deserve my portion. Mm. I'll give you what unbelievers share. You're looking for trouble? Mm -mm. That's true. I am the that's now now both male and female exactly. if, if, if a woman is not a faithful steward in mm -hmm. her in mm -hmm. her relationship yeah if if you know i want a godly man i want mm -hmm. a good husband mm -hmm. god gives you one mm -hmm. and you start toying with him exactly he will divide it asunder exactly. and you that was toiling with that man he will give you a portion with the unbeliever. exactly you know that was like when i talked oh a mm -hmm. man will just show up and he looks everything good <laughs> <laughs> you think wow this is the one and you rush to get married mm. from week one trouble starts <laughs> you met him in church mm. but immediately after marriage he tells you we'll stop going to church oh god what did i do that's your portion with it's the unbelievers thank mm. you Lord Jesus. hallelujah you know, yesterday we were talking about honoring the Lord and how we honor God in uh, we mm. you know, talk <laughs> No, 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 that's that's fine. Mm -hmm. Because you have to we have to just flow as the Lord gives yeah, us the words sure. because it's very unscripted. So we're just depending on God to bring truth as we proceed. You know, let me just talk a little about my response before we go back to you know um, continuing. You know, when you told me that about uh, God is my source yeah. and all of that, you know, I don't have any money, no salary, more like I don't have any fixed. You know, like, somehow in a marriage or somehow a woman would just want to like, okay, maybe judge the man based on what he has physically. physically yeah. Yes. So that's what you were trying to draw my attention to. Like, you know, it's, it's not like I have one job because actually some people also talk to me about it. It's not like your husband has a church. You know, we run in ministry. We, we, we are God's servants in ministry. Not like we have regular Sunday services. We follow as we are led, you know. So I had people counsel me and they were like, your husband is not a like he's into full time yes but not like we know church to be mm -hmm. and not like we know that you know how pastors are being paid salary sure. you know that at the end of the month there's something, something that you're going to work day. with yeah. yes so there was nothing like that and what am i going to say now what i'm just going to say to you now is my belief was we have the word and then also i have learned to trust god as my source and I also knew that I was not going to be dependent completely on my husband. Because I also have a relationship with God. Before I married this man, or before he came to me, who was my source? Because sometimes the mistake we also make as women is immediately we marry our husbands. We kind of like shift all the burden on him. It's fantastic for your husband to be available for you. Yeah. But your connect with God must also be intact. You cannot let go of it because, just because, because you're now married. But just in case the man begins to fail. Exactly. Yeah. Your own faith should stand. Your own faith should cover the family. Your own faith should speak for your husband. Your husband should also look at you and be at rest. Because we have oh, one yeah. father. Yes. Hey, I mean, you know, that's one rest I enjoy. Mm. Sincerely. You know, I remember one time, you know, <laughs> now this is a, the marriage now. That was okay. not too long ago. Okay. I was to go on a retreat. The Lord had told me to go somewhere, mm. to just go shut down and pray. Mm. And I was leaving the house and there was no money. And like, what are we going to do? 
Now, it was not a problem to me. I said, the Lord will take care of me. Exactly. <laughs> and then you know why? <laughs> I'm like, where are you going? What do you mean by the Lord will take care of me? You know, that's why. And then you remember, okay. I went for the retreat. And then someone called you mm. and said, the Lord instructed her to send her tithe to mm. you. And that was a lot of money. <laughs> 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 now, now, I mean, I'm the pastor here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's not like somebody, it's not like somebody listening to your message, mm. and then the Lord now spoke while the person was listening to your message. No, the person <laughs> just called and said the Lord spoke to me that I should send my dad to you, mm -hmm. not not to your you people's mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. He said to you, mm -hmm. you that please send me your account, account. details. Yes. And I remember you telling me that I said that's exactly what we're talking about. The that's the, yes, take care. care. That's the connect that we have with God, even as the wife. And and you know, and and you know, you know, a little bit of a digression. Okay. That's how you know that you're a child of God. I was just going to say that being a wife does not make you forget. That, that you had a father. Daughter, yeah. That's what I tell God all the time. I'm like, I'm your, I'm your daughter. You were taking care of me yeah. before this man came to marry me. So there are times that I deliberately, maybe like if I don't receive money from God directly for a while, I start talking to him I'm like, Lord, <laughs> where is our own relationship here? So that's why when I have testimonies like that, it gives me joy. Yeah. That's why I also like this song by Moses Bliss. Jesus is taking care of me. That's one of the songs that ministers to me so much. Because as God's child, you have to sit down and understand the fatherhood of God. Leave your husband outside of it. Leave your wife outside of it. Who is your father? The father has responsibilities. And you truly don't lose your father daughter relationship yes yes after you get married very important and some people get married and they feel the husband is praying mm. they don't need to pray mm -mm. <laughs> you study you don't need to study. study no you keep growing in the knowledge of god especially if you marry a pastor it's very yes sensitive because you, because you will just feel like oh and it's doing all the work so you know, i used to tease you there mm. i say yeah good. you're married now so god have answered all your prayers <laughs> so, so now you'll be sleeping <laughs> and i used to tell you that <laughs> the, the posture of praying has changed <laughs> Now I'm at rest. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, no, before, no. before I married, I married, my before husband. I married her. Oh dear. No, you, you need to hear her pray. Oh, you know. And I noticed after we got married, I said, babe, you don't used like, to pray like that. <laughs> oh God, I've answered all your prayers. I'm like, the, the mood changed. The method changed. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, but, but you don't lose your, no, you don't. Very your relationship you don't. with your father. You don't. In the marriage, because he's supposed to be guiding you. Yeah. You need his voice. You need his word. You need his comfort. Because sometimes your husband will not be there. He will not always be, no matter how available he says he's going to be, he will not always be available. But when you have God, then you have everything, including your husband. Hallelujah. Our time is up. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we bless God. Can we just pray? Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Our desire is to see solid families. Amen. Our desire is to see believers standing strong mm. in you. Yes, Lord. So we pray right now for everyone that is watching Amen. and listening to us. Amen. Solidify their Amen. faith. Amen. Solidify where they stand. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>